A love for Bible teaching does not equal necessarily equal a love for Jesus. A love for sermons doesn't equal a love for Jesus. It's possible to be satisfied intellectually and estranged from God spiritually. In fact, let me tell you something. Your true relationship with God is on display by your relationship to His Word. And your, your relation, a saved person's relationship to God's Word is not just on display by the things you love when they encourage you and affirm you or just instruct you, but our relationship to our God is on display through our relationship to His Word when it cuts us open and shows us our sin and calls upon us to respond with repentance. That's when saving faith is on display. Lost people get angry when God's Word confronts them. Saved people, as a pattern, not, per, not with perfection, but saved people, when exposed by God's Word and confronted with God's Word, their hearts, our hearts are humbled. There's a gratefulness. You ever known the sweet sorrow of repentance? It's sorrowful. You see your sin. It breaks your heart. But there's a sweetness in it, isn't there? Because this is what it means to have fellowship with God. This is a father dealing with one of his children. This is the Lord dealing with our sins. It's sweet to us. And we respond not with worldly sorrow that leads to death, but with godly sorrow that leads to repentance. There's actually actually a turning from that which God exposes to us and reveals to us In order to follow Him. What does it mean to believe in Jesus? You're a Christ follower. These people are marveling at His words, hanging on His words. And in just a few days, many of these same people will agree that He needs to die. Is your so-called faith fickle? Or is it abiding and permanent because it's God-given and real and the result of new birth.